Hello everyone and welcome to this new video. Today's project is about doing RAG Retrieval Augmented Generation with Google Gemini model on Arabic Docs. So first thing we will do is to get the API for Gemini models, then we will fastly test the ability or the capability of this model on different languages like Arabic and French, and then we will try to get another source of data in this particular case, we are going to scrape a website and we will get the data in English and in Arabic and we will test the capability of the Gemini model in each language and see if it's capable to retrieve data in both languages. Okay, so first thing to do, look for Google Gemini. The first link is for Google DeepMind. You click on this uh, link here and you will get uh, the Gemini era, it's a website that introduced all the models by uh, Gemini uh, that you can use. So here you can see the uh, uh, the Gemini surpassed state-of-the-art performance on the range of benchmark uh, comparing to GPT-4. Uh, basically the Gemini Ultra is not accessible yet. What we are going to use is the Gemini Pro. So after after you read all that, you can go to ai.google.dev to get your API for developer's key. So once you click on that, you will be redirected to this uh, playground where you can create API key okay, for your project, or you can also try this model on, the, on their playground. So for this project, we will create a rag, as I said, with Google Gemini on Arabic Docs. So the first part is to get the external data like PDF or to scrape a website or uh, any any form of external data. So the first thing is to split the data into chunks and for that we, we, are, we are going to use the length chain component. This is just a brief overview for the whole project but after that we will go step by step on a Python notebook and implement each one. So the first thing we will split the data uh, using the recursive text uh, character splitter from Langchain. So this here is Langchain. Then we will do the embedding using the em embedding model provided by Gemini. Then we will store the embed embeddings in a vector uh, store. This will be provided by Langchain. And then we will get the context and do the retrieval and answer the user's question using the Gemini model. Okay, so this is basically the workflow for our RAG project. So, okay, so if you want to start by reading the blog post, it's well detailed and each step is well detailed. It's like the first step, how to get the data, then to chunk it into small pieces, then to embed it using the Google Gemini model, and then generating the answers. You can start by reading that if you want, but let's just jump directly to the notebook. So the first thing we will do is to use this uh, Google Collab uh, secrets to store your uh, API key. That's a good practice to use your secrets and to hide them. So the first thing is to so the first thing is to get the user data from Google Collab and call the API key which is stored here as I showed you. Then we will uh, install the necessary libraries. So once we upload and get the necessary packages, we will start very quick to explore the available models from the Geni list models. There is chat bison 001, which is a legacy text uh, only, which is a legacy text only model optimized for chat conversation. There is also the text bison 001. A legacy model that understand text and generate text as an output. Also the embedding gecko, the Gemini Pro, the one which we are going to use, which is the best model for scaling across wide range of tasks. Uh, it has an input limit of uh, 2720 uh, token and the output is 2048 tokens. Okay. Uh, there is the Gemini Provision, which is uh, the best image understanding model to handle broad range of application. And also there is the Embedding 001. This one we will use it to embed our chunks, obtain a distributed representation of text. And finally the AQA, 
which, uh, which is a model that performs attributed question answering. So the first thing, I will try to ask the same question in English and in Arabic, and uh, it's basically translated, it's the same uh, sentence, and we will try to see the answer of the model for each uh, question. Okay, here's, uh, here the answer is, I'm a, I'm a large language model trained by Google, and here is, ba is basically saying the same thing, uh, but it's translated in Arabic. It's basically the same thing. So the generating is basically good, so we can move on. Now let's move on to Gemini with LangChain, where we start building our first LLM chain. Okay, for that we will need the chat Google generative AI and we will try to build a model with a zero temperature. That means we need precise answers, uh, not creative, but precise. And the question is, are you capable to understand and generate Arabic text? The answer is yes. Oh, let's run it again. And for the result.content, we can use the markdown to get it as clear output, not, not like the print. So he's saying basically, yes, I'm capable of understanding and generate, uh, generating AI text. I have been trained on a massive data set of Arabic text and code. Okay, so he's saying some of the words that he can say. So now let's move on to the second step, which is building a basic multi-chain using the uh, chat Google Generative AI with also zero temperature. So in this, we will create a prompt uh, using the chat prompt template from LangChain and we are saying uh, that means tell me one fact about and here's the topic which will be inserted as an input so our chain is composed from three parts the prompt the model and the output parser the output parser is also uh, coming from the langchain.schema.output parser okay so uh, here I'm passing the topic as Tunisia and I'm saying uh, let me import that okay building the chain so the markdown chain invoke topic tunisia so i'm asking him for one topic in arabic about tunisia uh, keep in mind that i inserted the topic in english but the question in arabic and the answer outputted is in arabic so he's saying that tunisia is the only country in the world that has been named after her capital because the name of the country is Tunisia and the capital also is Tunisia. Okay. So here I'm trying to do this, the same thing, but for a list of inputs. So let's see for Tunisia, it's, it's the same fact, uh, for Germany, he's saying, okay, it's a little bit slow and honestly, I don't know why. But okay, for Germany, he's saying Almania Akbar Akhtisat Europe. Almania has the biggest economy in Europe and the third biggest economy in the world. Uh, about Qatar uh, is the first country in the world that has the title of the capital of sport in the world. Uh, and about Spain, Spain is the biggest country that has the number of historical monument registered in the UNESCO, which is. 84 monument okay so that's pretty good as you can see so let's move on to a more complicated chain using mini rack and this time we will okay let's import all that first of all we will give the model like mini docs for embedding like this let's you you can compare these to the chunks that we will use after but it's mini chunks so we have like uh, three in Arabic, three sentences in Arabic, three sentences in uh, French, and three sentences in English. And we will try to ask the model uh, and we will see how he will answer us and how the retrieval will be uh, in this part. Okay, uh, so we are going to use the embedding model, models embedding 001 to embed all these sentences and to store them in the vector store, which is doc array in memory search for text. Also, we are going to use the retrieval, which is vector store as a retrieval. All those are implemented in the LangChain library. We could have used different like uh, vector store like Pinecone or ChromaDB 
and the different retrieval or even build the retrieval ourselves using the cosine similarity but this is just to have a quick understanding and testing the capability of the model it's the quickest way that I can find okay so the retrieval get relevant document what's the capital of Tunisia the information was uh, was given in Arabic which is here uh, its country here uh, its country is Tunis and the official language is Arabic so here as we can see the retrieval failed to get the right answer sa capitale est Paris et la langue officielle est le français he's giving us the the French sentence related to Paris so we are asking about Tunisia but he found capital here capital practically capital the same so the retrieval saying this is should have the answer for this question which is not right okay let's move on uh, here in Arabic what uh, what is the capital of Tunis in Arabic now he is it's returning us the right uh, sentence so this here contains the right uh, the right information about our question for the third question I am asking him about the capital of UK and again he's returning the same thing about the capital of Tunisia since it's written in Arabic the retrieval think this word and this word must be related so the context must be related also so using only the embedding model and retrieval we couldn't get the accurate context because if the context or the document is in English it's better to ask your question in English if the document is in Arabic you better ask your question in Arabic so that's the first conclusion we can get so now let's move on to a more complex chain okay so we are going to give him the context and the user questions the retrieval didn't get the necessary context for the document to answer this one so the chain will say there is no context uh, provided about UK so I cannot answer this question and we can see why because the context doesn't have any information about the UK uh, uh, capital and our question in Arabic is asking for the UK capital so the large language model using only the uh, following context didn't answer our question and that's pretty honest so now let's move on to a rag on a website where we are going to scrape a website and asking our uh, model to answer our questions we need to install also the HTML to text for this use case I will use this website which is a Wikipedia page about gravity in Arabic and then I will take this same page but this time in English okay and we will see how the model is capable to get our uh, the necessary information in both English and uh, Arabic okay once the loaders are getting the URLs and loading the documents we can use the Langchain HTML text transformer to get the whole content of this page so that's the whole content in this page there's a lot of noise but the, the content is pretty much here okay so the first thing we do is to use the recursive character text splitter to split this document into chunks with the chunk size of 400 and the overlap of 10 okay so now let's move to the chunks to clean them to remove this uh, return in line by just space we don't need it and now let's print the chunks number 20 and see its length so this is the chunk number 20 and the length is 94 okay let's see for example the chunk number 29 and its length is 94 okay so let's save all these chunks in a vector store which is the again the doc array in memory search and then let's try asking our questions what's the famous theory of Isaac Newton uh, the content is mm, this is not related this is not related maybe this is kind of related but I don't think so this is not related and this is not related also so let's see if we wrap all this in one function 
which is question answering we give him we will give the same template uh, that we used before uh, the uh, prompt template and the same uh, uh, runnable map and we will try to get our question answering okay so here I try to print the user question the first the most uh, let's say accurate or the most let's say the nearest context that should or that could answer our uh, the user question and then the answer that's provided by the Gemini Pro so the answer is uh, the, which means the, th the famous theory of Isaac Newton uh, wasn't uh, stated or wasn't uh, uh, I, uh, it wasn't stated in the context so he failed to answer our question okay let's try the same thing in English about gravity we will build the same thing uh, respecting the same chunk size doing the same following the same steps and what's Isaac Newton famous theory so here we can see the retrieval get the New Newton's law of universal gravitation English physicist and mathematician okay Einstein famous almost okay he brings those chunks as you can see this one for example from the uh, document 62 this one from the document fi uh, 59 this one also from the document 59 this one from the document 44 what's Isaac Newton famous theory Isaac Newton famous theory Isaac Newton is famous for his theory for uni universal gravitation which is pretty neat answer so that's all guys for this project as I said at the beginning you can find all the step well explained here you can try it and you can share with me your results and I have a task for you it's a hands-on exploration so consider the experiment with alternative tools to enhance the performance of the model maybe try to integrate different embedding models from the hacking phase for example multi-model multilingual embedding models to give a better meaning to Arabic for example text when embedding it and also try to use a real vector store like Chrome ADB or Pinecone and tell me if the results uh, get better you can find this uh, code on my github and also you can find many more tutorials on my web uh, on my youtube channel and if you want to contact me or to have conversation about anything please feel free to connect with me on my linkedin profile and i will try to answer you in a short notes and uh, for the github the, it's uh, it's the rag with google gemini on arabic docs okay thank you and see you in the next video bye bye